El Dorado International Airport, Bogota, Colombia. Security threats, illegal immigration, and contraband. Every airport has its fair share. But El Dorado is special. It's Colombia's biggest airport and one of the busiest in Latin America. Officials here are on the front lines for containing Colombia's most infamous export, cocaine. And smugglers will try anything to move their product. With a flight departing every seven minutes, officers race against the clock to put a stop to illegal activity. 24-7, 365, the flights never stop. Nor does the work of the men and women of El Dorado's airport security. Five hundred police officers patrol El Dorado's facilities. A new day begins with a new shift. The officer's duty, guarantee the safety of the over 70,000 passengers traveling through this airport's terminals in the next 24 hours, and stop the flow of contraband that moves with them. A flight to Mexico readies for departure. With only a few minutes remaining, officers scramble to complete a crucial bag check in an area they call the Reconciliation Lounge. Finally, only the luggage of the last two passengers remains. It belongs to a young woman and her stepmother. The first passenger, the stepdaughter, is asked about her bag. Is this your bag, the one that was over there? She says yes. A drug-sniffing dog approaches the bag and immediately reacts to narcotics. When she sees that we're going to check her, that we have the bag right in front of us, now she says it's not her bag. That's her bag. The number on the bag corresponds with her claim number. It has to be hers. She says no. Now she's a little agitated. The passenger claims the bag isn't hers and cannot open it which makes the officers even more suspicious. At El Dorado's 10 security checkpoints, the activity is non-stop. Motivo de su viaje a Panamá. Vive allá en Panamá. 
the agents question every passenger. On average, one out of every 20 are transferred to the body scan room. There, the body scan machine can detect suspicious objects inside people's bodies. It's X-ray technology common to the world's major airports since 2008. This is the office of the Police National. The control consists in passing through this machine to verify that there are no strange elements in your body. Take air and sustain it. Please retire the shoes, please. You too. Next. The officers have their sights on a young man traveling to Mexico. We flagged him during the body search, which is the first check we do at the airport. This is done on all individuals who are traveling out of the country. He seems suspicious, so we sent him to the body scan room to conduct a more effective search. Once through the body scan, as the images show, there are shapes that are not consistent with the human body, not only externally, but also internally. The passenger has not only ingested suspicious substances, but it looks like he may be carrying a series of objects taped to his body. So I proceeded to do a body search, and I found a diaper attached with tape. When I removed it, there were some capsules. In this case, we see two ways of smuggling. We find that the person has ingested capsules filled with cocaine, and obviously, the person, knowing he cannot ingest any more, takes advantage of the situation and tapes the rest to his body. Anti-narcotics police are in the process of inspecting the bag of a female passenger. Since she denies being the owner, the officers break the lock. We see some jackets, and inside of these jackets, there are some blocks that we think, based on our experience, are blocks of cocaine. I was a bit surprised because their smuggling method was so obvious. There was no false compartment in the suitcase. The drugs were not really covered with anything. They were easy to find. At this moment, this person realizes that we've discovered the true contents of the suitcase. So she faints. She falls to the ground. The woman has fainted and she's not responding to attempts to revive her. Saturation 
Mándame una móvil, mándame una móvil. The body scan room, El Dorado Airport. The police unit here captures about 10 people a month attempting to smuggle drugs in their body. Officers have just detained a young man who ingested capsules filled with cocaine and used a disposable diaper to carry another 44 capsules. We asked the individual how many he swallowed, and we also let him know that he needs to start expelling them from his body. A ruptured capsule would result in a serious drug overdose. And if the drug is cocaine, the outcome could mean a stroke or sudden death. The time it takes to pass all the drugs he's ingested varies. It generally takes between 12 hours and 5 days. The passenger is no longer traveling to Mexico. His destination now is the nearest hospital. Based solely on the 44 capsules of cocaine carried in his disposable diaper, he could face an eight-year sentence. Illicit substances are not the only concern for El Dorado's officers. Certain day-to-day -day items are prohibited from being stowed in carry-on luggage. Seized items end up in the prohibited object storage area. Here, every month, officials pile up more than a ton of scissors, knives, lighters, alcoholic beverages, creams and other dangerous objects. In the reconciliation room, a female suspect is still unconscious after fainting suddenly. Everything indicates that the suitcase holds cocaine. It happens often. When the person knows they have been discovered, then they faint or they feign illness. They think they can hinder our efforts to find the drugs they are attempting to smuggle to other countries. The police continue to investigate whether the packages she intended to smuggle to Mexico contain cocaine. Entonces, a partir de este momento, usted queda capturada por ley 30, que es tráfico, fabricación y porte de estupefacientes. Al momento, uno confirmaba la otra todavía. The officers still have to check the other suitcase. Cuando pasé con esto, mi maleta estaba ahí, y pasé ahí con las maletas, y me pasé para que ella me escuchara. ¿Quién? Ella. 
Pero igual, sí, claro. Eh, yo soy la esposa del papá de ella. O sea, no soy nosotros, mamá directa de ella. Nosotros, pero... nosotros nos guiamos con lo que dice acá. No, que yo no entiendo. Romero García, no, 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 no,
The total seized 32 packages of cocaine weighing approximately one kilogram each. The woman and her stepmother are arrested trying to smuggle approximately 32 kilograms of cocaine. If found guilty, they could face 10 to 30 years in prison. Back at immigration, the situation is tense. The officers are in the process of denying entry to a Cuban passenger who's a resident of the United States, but who arrived to Colombia without a visa. There is no solution. The laws are very strict. The plane that will take the Cuban passenger back to the US is almost ready for takeoff. A denial of entry now doesn't mean that he will face future punishment. This is the law, and you won't be able to change it from one day to the next. No matter how big a scene you make, it's not going to solve anything. Every year, about 1,000 people are denied entry into Colombia for not having the proper documentation. In the body scan room, anti-narcotics officers interrogate a new suspect, a passenger flying to Mexico. From the start, this gentleman wasn't given clear answers to the questions we were asking him. So we found it necessary to make him go through a full revision. During the interview, all the little things start to add up to help us determine that this person has a high profile as a possible drug carrier. Hacia el exterior. Vamos a otra verificación. ¿no? Pasa por la máquina. Vamos a fijar que no, ya hay elementos extraños, ya se han pegado dentro del cuerpo. Listo. Se pega una firma acá. The passenger is not carrying anything illicit in his luggage, but he still has to go through the body scan. Only then will officers know if he's holding drugs. Every year, about 27 million passengers pass through El Dorado Airport. But not all of those passengers are human beings. I am traveling from Florida to Colombia. I have to have her with me because my doctor said so. I suffer from seizures, so if I'm about to get sick, 
she lets me know immediately. She barks in a particular way, and I take the necessary precautions to prevent the seizure. This is why she has to be next to me on the plane. This is her service dog permit. They always tell her that she's so cute and pretty. They don't say those things to me, just to her. That's how it goes. In the body scan room, officers continue to inspect a passenger headed to Mexico. The scanner projects low intensity X-ray beams at high speed, obtaining a digital image in less than five seconds. And the image shows something abnormal in the young man's stomach. There are foreign objects in his body, small capsules that could contain any type of narcotic, and it's impossible to determine which at this time. It could be heroin, it could be cocaine, or it could be any other type of narcotic. All we know is that he has foreign objects in his body based on what we can see in the X-ray image. The gentleman has foreign objects in his body, so we're placing him under arrest. This starts the legal process that will eventually land him with the district attorney's office. First, we will transfer him to the closest medical unit. Once there, a radiologist will get him hospitalized where the suspect will be under observation until he naturally passes each one of the objects out of his body. Once the capsules are expelled, officers will determine what type of substance and the amount he's carrying, which will determine his sentence. In cases like this, the punishment could range between 8 and 12 years in prison. Every year, El Dorado handles around 100,000 minors traveling with their parents. If the minor is accompanied by only one parent, the law requires additional conditions for travel. A woman flying to Madrid with her daughter finds herself in a fix. Immigration picks up on a serious issue with her papers. For any Colombian minor to leave Colombia, the traveling parent must show a permit signed by the parent staying behind. In the case of this minor, when checking the fingerprint on the permit with the father's fingerprint, it is evident that the fingerprints are completely different. The mother now faces criminal charges, and the girl must be turned over to Child Protective Services. In the midst of an emotionally charged moment, El Dorado's officers must remain focused. It's their duty to prevent minors from being taken from the country illegally. Officers from the anti-narcotics division need a new suspect to the body scan room. This time, it's a passenger booked on the next flight to Madrid. Sí, 
hacia dónde? Madrid. Ya se fue metiendo aquí y su cédula, en el cual le vamos a realizar un control por parte de la Policía Nacional en pasarlo por este body scan para verificar que no lleve sustancias en su organismo sí, o en su cuerpo. The inspection officer knows after asking some questions that this man is going to a place that is a high trafficking destination for us. He is going directly to Europe, so there is a good possibility that he is carrying drugs. So we proceed with a body scanner. Spain and Mexico are considered critical high drug trafficking destinations. 80% of the narcotics-related arrests at El Dorado are tied to people heading to those two countries. The X-ray images indicate that this passenger isn't carrying drugs in his body. On average, the anti-narcotics team finds 15 to 20 suitcases containing drugs every month. The officer begins to inspect the suitcase and finds that it has a different smell from that of a regular suitcase. A strong smell of cocaine. Immigration officers hold a woman in custody, attempting to take her daughter to Europe using apparently falsified documents. Now, her fate is in the hands of a document examiner and a fingerprint expert. They will determine if the document is true or false. In this case, we verify the documents two ways. One, the document examiner will check the authenticity of the document, and two, the fingerprint expert will see if the fingerprint stamped on this permit corresponds with the father's fingerprint on the birth certificate. The fingerprint expert weighs in. The permit is forged. We were able to verify that the document was legal, but there is evidence that the fingerprint was not the father's. With the expert's verdict, the officers continue the legal process by handing the mother over to the Colombian National Police. On a monthly basis, we find about 17 cases of forged documents connected to people attempting to leave Colombia. The anti-narcotics unit shifts their focus to the next international departure. Destination, the Dominican Republic. They pick up a few passengers for a secondary inspection in the body scan room. The officers uncover suspicious looking boxes. 
¿Tiene más casas ahí? Sí, creo. No me lo Señora, venga, póngase de pie, por favor. Aquí tiene un poquito de cámara y para acá. para verificar qué tipo de contenido es el que tiene usted en este equipaje, ¿listo? Pero señor, eso no es un equipaje. Este equipaje está a nombre suyo. Es decir, que usted lo chequeó en la aerolínea. Pero ¿cómo si yo salgo andando con esto? Por eso. Sí, que tiene el pasaporte. Este es su equipaje. Usted chequeó un equipaje, ¿cierto? No, yo no es que yo no he chequeado el equipaje. No, ¿y esto que le dieron entonces qué es? Eso me lo pasó a la señorita y punto. Esto quiere decir que este equipaje corresponde a su nombre porque aquí está su nombre y está con su ticket, está bajo su poder. Listo, vamos a hacer una prueba de narcotex para verificar qué tipo de contenido es lo que tiene usted aquí. La prueba indica que es positivo para cocaína. Una sustancia Tirón, un favorcito, si me copia, usted podría acercar ahí a la plazoleta de comidas, al parecer tiene una situación ahí con unos menores de edad. Por favor, ¿qué hay? Ya los ubique aquí en las cámaras. El aeropuerto de El Dorado Airport es uno de los más seguros en Latinoamérica due to its investment in security technology. There are cutting edge systems including infrared cameras and ground radar. It helps us maintain the perimeter, which in an airport is the first line of security. Ahí un ciudadano para hacer la respectiva registro. En este momento se encuentra ahí debajo de las pantallas. Tiene como un maletín a la espalda, frente a los sensores de la puerta 4. It may be the most secure airport because of a robust surveillance system with over 700 state-of-the-art cameras inside the terminal and a team monitoring the images 24 hours a day. And of course, the fact that all of the agencies are involved in policing the airport adds a superior level of security. In just four months, El Dorado's surveillance system was responsible for detecting over 100 crimes. Back at the body scan room, an anti-narcotics officer suspects a passenger may have drugs in his carry-on. You immediately know when a person is carrying because they'll look for excuses to avoid getting their bag checked thoroughly. We remove a white substance. A field test is conducted. The light blue color indicates that it's positive for an alkaloid. It's cocaine. Sus derechos son, primero, guardar silencio. Todo lo que diga podrá ser usado en su contra. Tiene derecho a un abogado. Even though they've arrested the passenger, the officers must complete the search. And to their surprise, it turns out the bag has more than one false compartment. The passenger is arrested for possession and trafficking of narcotics. For this type of crime, the law establishes a sentence of eight to 12 years in prison.
In the body scan room, anti-narcotics officers arrest this female passenger after finding cocaine in her bag. La prueba indica que es positivo para cocaína. A partir de ese momento, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Nos vamos a dirigir hasta la estación más cercana, vamos a iniciar con su proceso de judicialización y posteriormente la vamos a entregar a disposición de la Fiscalía, que es donde usted va a llevar su caso. ¿Listo? Va a tomar contacto con su abogado y con su abogado se entenderá. Si usted dice que la maleta no es suya, eso no es responsabilidad de nosotros. Ya usted lo va a saber con su abogado y el fiscal que va a llevar su caso. Muy bien. Permítame, por favor, todos los elementos de valor que usted posee en este momento. ¿Tiene más celulares? Sí, tiene joyas de valor. Ahí déjame. No, las manos atrás. Tome asiento, por favor. Tome asiento. ¿Cuántos años tiene usted, señora? ¿24? Sí, the anti-narcotics officers find approximately 15 kilograms of cocaine. For this amount, this woman could face 10 to 30 years of prison. The passenger heading to Madrid attempted to smuggle more than two kilograms of cocaine, hidden in false compartments of a carry-on bag. The majority of drug carriers know. Everyone knows what they carry and that they are committing a crime, that they're playing a game of catch me if you can. It's that simple. So when the drugs are found, they put up an act and become defensive. So they start to say, this isn't my bag. They cry, they scream, and sometimes they even faint. But eventually, like in all of these cases, we suss them out. The most common cases at the airport are those that have ingested drugs. The passenger going to Mexico was captured attempting to smuggle almost a kilogram of cocaine in capsules. The second most common location, in their luggage. A lot of times, they use luggage with false bottoms, or they soak their clothing in drugs. We calculate that we have seized about 236 kilograms of cocaine hydrochloride. And I'm only talking about cocaine, and I'm only talking about the El Dorado airport. We haven't won the war yet, but we've been very successful at winning smaller battles.